So social distancing is extended for two more weeks and at this point in time I know that a lot of us are now asking ourselves is there a glory of trust and obey in this time of social distancing? With this said extension, how are you? Is still hanging in there? Or does burden is starting to get you? Well, staying at home is a sacrifice we can all do so we can save ourselves and our loved ones. However, seeing the same walls and doing the same things for 24 hours, 7 days a week can get us, especially the extroverts. But we cannot do otherwise but to trust and obey since these are the keys to win this battle so we have to fight a good fight. Here are 8 great reasons why you should stay home. I got this from Google. Number 1. You don't have to worry about impressing anyone or plastering a fake smile on your face. When you are at home, you can be 100% yourself without having to worry about what people think. You can wear what you want, eat what you want, do what you want, and act how you want. When you go out, you are subject to conforming to what society considers normal, which is not always very enjoyable. When you stay at home, you have the freedom to just be yourself without fear of judgment. Number two, staying at home is free, let's face it. Outside the house, nothing is free anymore. You could go for a walk for free, but inevitably, you will end up walking to a place where you will be tempted to spend money. Nothing is free anymore, and with the rising cost of food and entertainment, who can afford to keep going out? There are plenty of free entertainment choices at home, with just Netflix, YouTube, millions of smartphones stop alone. You could even make your choice of food entertaining by looking through your fridge and pantry and challenging yourself to a chop challenge. Number three, stay at home can save your energy. When you go out, you end up using a lot of energy on smiling keeping up with the flow of conversations, making sure you pick up on all the social cues around you, and so much more. A small amount of time spent like this will not tire you out too much, but after a while, it can be exhausting to be out, even when you are with close friends. If you stay home, you can recharge and focus your energy on other things like finally completing a task you've been putting off or working out to get in better shape. Everyone will have a long list of things they can do at home where their energy will be put to better use. Number four, avoid wasting time. What do you wanna do? I don't know. What do you wanna do? How many times you have been caught in this type of a conversation? It always revolves around going out and it can last so long that by the time a decision is made, most places are closing for the night. You can avoid this wasted time by simply choosing to stay at home. Home never closes for the night and you are already know what your options are at home. You can stick it to mainstream media. The thought that the young people are indoors too much these days and should be outside more is popular right now in mainstream media. By choosing to stay at home sometimes, you kind of stick it to the people telling you what to do. It's always better to be yourself, always than to follow the crowd. Number six, avoid meaningless conversations. How many times have you been out with a group of people and found yourself stuck in a loop of meaningless conversations? Having to pretend to be interested in something that bores you makes for a long, long evening. Instead of being bored, 
why not take time to stay at home and communicate with yourself? This means taking the time to get to know yourself better. What makes you tick? What are your likes and dislikes? What are you passionate about? You will be able to make the right kind of friends if you really know yourself. Start getting to know who you are now. Number seven, you don't have to be worried about anyone else. When you go out with a group of people, you always have to think about what to say and do so that you don't offend anyone. You also have to make sure everyone is included in the conversations. After a while, this can get tiresome and some evenings you just don't feel like having to worry about other people. Just stay home and feel carefree instead. Number 8. You have more choices. Whenever a group of people are together, there has to be compromise. Someone has to choose what to do and how often the choice is yours. How often do you find yourself participating in an activity you just don't want to do? When you stay at home, instead of going out, you can focus on the things that you are passionate about instead of having to do something that bores you. So follow your passions and find some new ones. Now, how can we still be mentally healthy during these difficult times? I know fear may be crippling us in this hour because of the pandemic, but I encourage us to listen to the inspiring verses from the Bible, Psalm 121. The King James Version I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from his cometh my help. My health cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve the going out and the coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah.